So up next, we're gonna go visit Joe Morgan at Chittleboro and Morgan. Joe trained under Tommy Nutter and is known for his more adventurous style and incredible handwork. Located at number 12 Savile Row, let's pop down and see what he's got for us. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. So great to see you again. Welcome to London. Yeah, well, we've got some beautiful, le beautiful <laughs> weather today. You know, what I'm really interested is uh, just the differences between the various houses as exhibited by their house style. Quite, yeah. quite. Well, the thing being is, you, you know very well, you know all these great brands, mm -hmm. all their sort of house styles are individual, mm -hmm. but, and everybody makes beautiful clothes along here from all the different um, companies in Savile Row. We try and compete with them, it's quality, but we try and stylize ours yeah. just that little bit more, yeah. and that comes from my heritage with yeah. Tom, Tommy Nutter. Yeah. So what we do here is we have this straight sort of um, Savile Row shoulder line, mm -hmm. a very close high armhole, Mm -hmm. And then that's sort of shaped into the waist where we cut a side body into our um, clothes. And um, the characteristic of, um, of the side body gives us a lot of shape, which we can get that nipped in line. And um, for the features of two cross flat and an out ticket flat, uh, a double breasted lapel with a belly. Mm -hmm. So, and this is padded again totally by hand to give us this roll here and it's not pressed flat. Mm -hmm. And again, the peak of the pelt mm -hmm. goes to the sky. It, it doesn't yeah. go to the side. It just goes well. to the sky like a tree. And again, the, the other feature is our cuffs. Um, and these features we like. They, they take more fabric. They take more time. But it's a characteristic that we like sort of working on. Yeah. So that when you're at a house party or you're having drinks and you're shaking hands, you, it's a feature that one sees, yeah. which is very important well, to Chitter us. Well, and Morgan is certainly known for its more adventurous tailoring style. And it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful piece that really accentuates a lot of the elements that, uh, that really make a jacket beautiful. That's very gracious of you. Thank you. It's just that the feel that, um, you know, when one wears clothes, um, whether you, you know, you have them made sort of wherever you go, it's nice to have that feeling yeah. that you're, you're, you're special yeah. within the suit. Yeah. And you wear the suit, and the suit mm -hmm. doesn't wear you. It's mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. And this has quite a bit of roping. I mean, it's a strong shoulder and, uh, and a strong sleeve head also, which, again, just further gives shape and definition in the jacket. Indeed, it's our signature piece. And again, um, we have this ethos with the canvas, the li pure linen canvas, the horsehair and the demat that we put in that the body breathes through. But we have this definition where we bring the chest forward, keep this very close and near the body, and it enables us to sort of get over the chest and give an, a, a very, very elegant sort of shape. It's, you know, it makes our, a lot of our clients, men and women, stand up more erect. Mm. It makes them stand up to get the sort of line yeah. and the, the feeling they want from our clothes. Yeah, well, it's a very flattering piece. Let's talk a little bit about the back. I mean, we've got double vents. Of course, and how do you treat those? Well, our side vents are long. Um, we tend to sort of hit the waist and then come down a small amount, and it goes back from that sort of early period in the sort of late 60s, early 70s, mm -hmm. when side vents were sort of like really long and nice. And so when you're walking and you, you've got stride and the wing catches it, it's, it's a good piece. It's yeah, really a good piece. Kind of adds some drama. Oh, it, indeed. Yeah. And it gives, it's a flattering and, and you know, characteristic to a model that mm. we think our gentlemen sort of um, enjoy. Yeah. And, our, and, our, and our women. Yeah. And your trousers are also quite special. I mean, talk a little bit about kind of the house style of your trousers, because I know that you have a particular view uh, that you like Well, that's to very nice of you to say. It's just like, um, you know, with, we're competing with ready-to-wear. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ready-to-wear are fantastic. But in the early days, we had ready-to-wear and we had bespoke. But now ready-to-wear are cl c catching up. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we stay with the handcraft, the cutting skills to develop a model that we think pulls away from ready to wear. And that ingredient is that we wear high waist trousers. It's, um, it's, you know, there's a hip bone here. We put them on the trousers so we have high lines. The sh shape between the shoulder line and the waist mm -hmm. is shorter and it makes gentlemen's and ladies' legs look so much yeah. longer. So right. this is what we try and do. Yeah. But it's not e it is an easy yeah. cover, as you know, because the ready-to-wear just have these short rises in most of their trousers, but we try and, with fittings, and a lot of fittings, 
integrate um, the model into our, the lives of our sort of yeah. gentlemen, which is really important. Yeah. When we make our suit, you know, mm. we make a suit and make a jacket, waistcoat and trousers, or just a jacket and trousers, and you think, well, okay, sir, this is yours. You know, mm. you, we fitted it, mm. it looks fantastic on you, you wear it and make it yours. Mm -hmm. But what we, we don't mind is that you wear the jacket with an open neck white shirt mm. and a pair of denim trousers or cotton trousers, and you can lunch anywhere in a good hotel in yeah. London and restaurants. And this is the whole thing about our waistcoats. We've, we design um, a cloth back so that if you're out in the summer with your family and um, you're, you know, you, you, you're just walking and it's, it's something that you, you're wearing, wearing a pair of cotton close trousers or a pair of blue jeans, you need access for your phone, mm -hmm. your credit card, your car keys. And this really doesn't go in a pair of blue jeans. Yeah. So we've now devised um, models so that it's not as if you're wearing your suit waistcoat, it's, a, it's another accessory mm -hmm. that fits into your yeah. wardrobe and you've got pockets for all your accessories. Yeah which is, we find works very well. Yeah. Well, talk to us a little bit about the handwork also, because one of the other things that uh, I just love about Chittabur and Morgan is the artistry and the energy that you guys put into your garment. It's not just how the final silhouette looks, but it's also how it's constructed through your handwork. So would you mind kind of showing us some of the work that goes to the inside of the jacket? Most definitely. You notice these things. <laughs> other people don't. I know this is what you, know, you bring to our world, which I think is um, it's very interesting, um, Kirby. Well, what we do to get definition with our chest and our shape, we have this intensity of padding. And it's not just like an exhibition piece, it's what we do all the time. And it's important to get the sort of shape and the line in our, um, in our jackets and waistcoats. So here, um, we've had this characteristic of one of our young people, Reza. He's developed this, um, this um, padding here for this particular client. It has this ingredients of color tones and shapes. And um, we also, now we're making quite a lot of ladies work. Okay. We pad our sort of canvases um, with the um, suffragette colors, wow. which is the white, the green, and the rose. And so our ladies' work have this empowerment thing within it. Nobody sees it, but it's nice to yeah. start off with this image. Well, just the work. I mean, look at this incredible. Well, yes, it's, I mean, it's, it's got, all by hand. You know, yes. I mean, it just really speaks to the passion uh, and the artistry of, of, of you and everyone here is that, you know, this level of detail, because normally this is totally concealed by the interlining, oh, indeed. you know, uh, of the jacket, yet so much of tailoring, the bespoke tailoring is the relationship, you know, that you have with the tailor. But don't you think you, don't you, think you deserve this? No, When you I have mean, your clothes made, no, it's, it's something that, again, um, you know, we do, because we have a passion, and the, the brand has an ethos about the quality of, um, of um, the work that goes into it. And we're com competing with the best in the world. Yeah, well, you are certainly amongst that company. I think that a bespoke jacket is so much more than just the jacket. You know, the relationship that one has with their cutter that they've developed over years, the relationship that one has with their coat makers gives so much more meaning to the garment whenever you're wearing it. And to be able to wear a jacket knowing, you know, that, you know, the coat maker put this much work, you know, into the pad stitching of the canvas and that maybe, you know, your favorite design or something, an inside joke or, you know, something that you guys spoke about is living inside your garment and only you know about it is incredibly special and it's got to be really great. Well, this is the whole thing again about you see, you know, we don't say we educate our gentlemen because this is what we do naturally, but when they buy into what we do, this is what everybody gets. And again, we're just, you know, we're making a, a suit this week for a gentleman that's getting married. So what I've asked him to do is like, when he left school, you know, sometimes you have a shirt and you, everybody signs mm -hmm. it. Would he like us to put a, make a pocket? in that or if his wife's dress is you know he's not going to see it but if he can get some fabric of something similar we can put a pocket within yeah. the jacket so it's these little additives that you feel that is the right thing to you to have in your yeah. suit yeah. and it may sound a bit sort of I know, theatrical but it isn't um it's um it's a craft that we can work with our clients very closely yeah. with and create something for them yeah. especially. Well, this is certainly the level of detail that makes Chittabur and Morgan, you know, so special. So, well, that's you know, very thank gracious you for, of you. Thank you for sharing this with us. And um, wow. Well, Kirby, you understand these things. You know, it's, it's again, we, we present these things to our client. They say, thank you. But you understand what goes into um, a garment, that, a bespoke garment. And that's why, you know, you're sort of brilliant in what you do. Yeah. Well, thank you, Joe. It's a pleasure. Pleasure to see Absolute you. Absolute pleasure. Yeah,
Every single time I visit Joe Morgan down at Chittabora, I'm totally blown away by the handwork he puts into his garments. It's some of the most amazing stuff I've ever seen.